Hello, this is Zig777, and welcome to episode 26 of Super Magic 2. Today, we have precisely two things planned. First up, um, this little thing here. This is a thing I'd made kind of between episodes as kind of a, a last-ditch effort to grow things faster, and it doesn't work. So, I need to rebuild this. And then the second thing is, we've got a tree to build, grow, whatever we're going to use. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do the tree today. i um, been kind of putting it off. Um, hopefully this episode comes out in time. I don't actually know at the moment. It is currently Saturday. Normally I post my episodes on Monday, so we will see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started at fixing this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What day is it? What month is it? What year is it? Yeah. So I've, I've, I've kind of been away for a little bit uh, with work, with... Honestly, with, mostly with other video games. Um, yeah, so Happy New Year. Um, I did want to... I decided my New Year's resolution is I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing videos again. Um, I enjoyed making these. It's mostly that this particular episode, which was filmed uh, September, um, yeah, it's filmed a while ago. Um, I kind of made it a little bigger than I was expecting. Um, rather large project in this, and I was trying to do some cool editing stuff. I have like the uh, what's it called, the Minecraft replay mod on here, and I was gonna do some cool editing. Only I realized I don't actually know how. So, bringing back to the episode, I just wanted to apologize for, you know, being, what is this, four months late, um, and I want to tell you that I do want to start making videos again. So, without further ado, back to the episode. So first off, the basic concept here is, little corporeal crystal cube tells me when I am below my critical threshold, which is just going to be half of whatever the threshold is over there. Uh, when it is below that, or sorry, when it's above that, it will turn the comparator on, Comparator what goes into this block, turns off the redstone torch here. Lovely little knot gate. That goes into the comparator, which then should click really fast and trigger my dispenser. Except one problem. It doesn't work. Um, it triggers it once. So, like right now it's off. It is in subtractor mode. Um, so if I were to... Let's see. If I break this comparator here, it should then start triggering, right? Because then it's not getting a signal. Redstone's clicking nice and fast, which is exactly what I'm wanting, except for one little problem is this guy here is just always on, so it triggers exactly once, which doesn't exactly do what I want. So, how can we do this? Um, I think what my plan is, I'm going to move it back one, and move it to where the uh, output routing node here is first, put that below ground, um, so there'll be a space here, and I will use some redstone paste. The reason I hadn't used this before, or the reason I hadn't just had it over there with redstone, is that the redstone won't like directly go into the dispenser normally. Um, it'll just kind of like loop around into a, back into the comparator, and it won't actually trigger the dispenser at all. But redstone paste, I can do things like aim it like that, so the signal goes to the right and it goes forward. So let's go ahead. All right, cleared out my inventory, got attacked by a couple spiders. No big deal. Okay, you go back in, and let's go ahead and deal with this. So I don't want to break you directly because then things will happen. Um, actually, do I want to break you? Yes, I do. Um, because if I take out this first, then it'll just start filling up everything. So I don't want that, so let's break you. And I should have my filter. Good, I do. Cool. Um, next up, let's take the bone meal out of here. Break you. And break that. So I need redstone to go like that. And then it also needs to loop back on itself, because basically then it'll turn it off. So it flickers really fast. Anyway, let's go ahead. Dispenser goes back in place here. Good, good. Break you. Break you. And let's go ahead and place the routing node back in place. Cool. Actually, I could put it here or here now. Huh. Oh, I like underneath. Underneath works nicely. It's out of the way. It's clean. And let's say I need the filter. So we need to go up, and the filter goes in with bone meal. Cool, there should be nothing in here yet. Nothing in here yet? Yep, okay. And let's go ahead and link this. You get linked to this one here. I could link it over there, but I kind of like it all linking up to the one central area. So, let's link you. And with that, let's see, do you work? Cool, you're getting filled. That's what I like to see. And... You are no longer below your critical threshold, so it won't be working, which is kind of planned. So, um, let's bump it up. Um, why are 
are you no bone meal? Also, break you. Hmm. I wonder, actually. The redstone paste may not have the same thing where it degrades, because that's kind of how this thing works. Yeah. You are on. Hmm. Let's see, if I were to put a block here, you are not doing anything. Hmm. I'll be right back. Hmm, let's see. It's not working. It's flickering like it should, but again, it only triggered him once. And I'm wondering if that's because, it's like this here, it, the lowest it goes is one, which means this is always going to be two. This guy goes to zero every occasionally, but you don't. So that's always on once that turns on once. Um, okay, let's break that, and let's start over. Okay. Having a little trouble, so I'm going to just kind of talk it out. Basic idea is you've got two circuits here. You have your corporeal circuit, which is comparator coming out of your crystal cube with a bookshelf next to it. It doesn't really matter the orientation of that. So that's one circuit, and then you need to invert it. So you could do it like that, you could do it like that, you could do whatever. So a block with whatever. So that's, con that's the little circuit one. The next circuit is the repeater circuit, which is actually what's going to be triggering it. So with that, you have comparator with some redstone, put you in subtractor mode, and this guy here, well, if I do it this way, I could have this be the output here. So input goes in this, output goes there. So how do I want to do that? Okay, so I broke some stuff, broke a nice little hole here, and here's the plan. My main problem is that I, I can't get things compact enough, really. Go away. I don't want grass down here. Uh, yeah, I can't get anything compact enough to be able to actually do what I want. Um, so, this is a magic pack, isn't it? So, the next thing we're going to do is red string. That's kind of, I think, what's going to be the best idea here. Um, I think I have my thing here. So, red string. Basically, what this is, it lets you, kind of through walls, uh, do things like... Uh, link to containers for transferring items. Uh, not not sure the range on this. It's like 15 blocks or something. Um, but there's also things like red string dispensers. So you can bound you can bind things to dispensers above you, and do redstone that way. So it can do items as well as the redstone itself. Or let's go one step further and just bone meal the trees themselves. So that's my plan. I'm gonna instead of trying to build everything up top and making sure that it actually fits up there and all that, and trying to get it you know, super compact and all that. I'm just going to put everything below ground and bone meal it upwards. Uh, I won't need this dispenser anymore. I'm just going to directly bone meal the plants from underneath. So let me go ahead and get the materials for that. Okay, starting by rearranging a few things down here. Um, this dropper here serves no purpose as a dropper. He exists... Excuse me. Stupid meteor. Anyway, a uh, dropper here exists purely for extending the corporea to go up to the actual uh, stuff that I'm working with up there. The uh, crystal cubes powering everything. So this line here is my five blocks of podzol. Uh, so basically in addition to uh, the automatic um, bone mealing, I'm actually going to be doing a lot more because previously I was just going to be bone mealing one thing and hoping that'd be enough. Now I'm going to be bone mealing all of it. So basically these here are going to be where I'm going to put the red string uh, neutrifier? Yeah. So, how are we going to do this? Let's go ahead and power that. These actually will probably need to be repeaters, I think. Because I'm guessing, like, if I have some, like, say this block here is a dropper or whatever, that isn't going to actually go into it. So, yeah, I'm going to need, I think, repeat, line of repeaters here. So, redstone, 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 redstone. This is going to be powered off of the little pulser. And I think the way I'm going to do that is with a torch. Yeah. Can you do it like this? That'd work. Is that going to cause me any problems? Yeah. Okay. I still have to make it a little compact, so let's place you here, I guess. Because this will still power that. Okay, so that works. Next up, we're going to need to do our little 
clock circuit here. So that's going to be comparator here with a... It's really hard to be around here. You just constantly pick up stuff, even with that sensor. Or even with the Solignolia, you still pick up constant stuff. Anyway, repeater goes into you. That will make sure that signal actually goes. So redstone, redstone, redstone. There is my uh, little thing that's going to be powering it all. And what we're going to do is... Do I want a knock gate? I don't think I actually want a knock gate here. Because I want a knock gate that will turn off the system. So, JK, let's break everything. Okay. So, repeater goes in there. Good, good. Uh, we have these three here, which are going to be the comparator circuit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe. Living rock brick goes there. Nope, I can rotate it. Like this. Still way too much stuff. You, you, you. That way, the comparator can go this way. Yeah, this works. So when he turns on, that's going to flicker. He's going to turn on when everything else turns off. So this gets a redstone torch. Torch. You're in subtract mode. Yeah, so that's going to cause that to blink, which is going to cause everything to be bone milled. That works. Cool. Now let's turn you off, because I don't actually care about that yet. Uh, comparator goes into you, and the same as our little corporeal circuit that we've been using. You go there, and a crystal cube goes here. I'm not going to worry about taking up the space for the rest of these little farms, because these ones aren't going to be ones that are going to be building too much. It's going to be just kind of, I'll need a constant supply. Whereas this is going to be, I'm going to be building lots of stuff at once, so I want it to build quickly. Okay, corporeal spark goes in there, and oak wood. That turns off that. And let's place you, this is going to be my actual trigger point. This is going to be where we are right now. Really? We have that much? 24, oh, 2048. Which means this thing here is probably turned off, isn't it? Yep, it is. Those are still there, but it's no longer dropping those. So that's kind of cool. Uh -huh, let's do what's better. Okay, cool. Alrighty, next up is the red string neutrifier. For this, we need uh, floral fertilizer and red string. Floral fertilizer is just uh, take your mystical petals and crush them down, some bone meal. And then the red string, where did it go? Uh, I actually don't have this automated yet. I will need to automate this because I need this for uh, luminizers as well. But block redstone, ender air, pixie dust, and string. So let's, we need at least five of these. So let's go ahead and get five redstone block. What? Oh, it's block of redstone, isn't it? Five block of redstone. Yep. Cool. We need five string. We need five ender air bottle. And we need five... Drawing a blank. Pixie dust. Pixie dust. Cool. That gets me five of that. Next up for the... Nutrifier, the floral fertilizer. Uh, I guess yellow, probably. Five of you. This only makes one. Okay, so I need 20 mystical yellow. 20 mystical yellow. Yellow. Petal. And... I already have the crusher thingy. Cool. You go here, you go here. Break you down, and let's get five bone meal. Awesome. And let's see, I need five of that. Uh, seven. Cool. Thirty-five. Eh. Stack of living wood. Rock. Yes, living rock. Cool. Okay, that should be everything that we need. So, make those. You go here. Four. Cool. And the neutrifier. Awesome. Um, oh, while well, I'm here, I actually will need one, two, three, four more of those. And I don't really, three, that's all I have. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, I need to turn these into 
these guys. So iron ingot and glowstone. You know, I'll just be back. I'll be back once I get the materials for that. Okie dokie, let's see if this works. Nuge fire, nuge fire, nuge fire. Is that the redstone side or the actual emit side? If I place you there, what does this head look like? Okay, so I think the red, oh, because it's red strings, so that's the side that's stringing. Yeah. Um, break you. Hopefully not crash. Probably gonna crash. Yep, crashed. And we are back. Cool, welcome back. Awesome. Uh, let's place you back here. I think I probably lost that one when it broke. Yeah, looks like I did. Um, that's okay, I can get the parts again. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Um, let's see, I need... I already have the living rock. I just need four mystical yellow petal. I already have the thing to break that down. I have an extra bone meal on me, so I can do that. Next up, I need a string, a block of redstone, and ender air bottle. I think that's what I need. You. I have those. You. 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 And... What was the other thing? Pixie dust. Yep. Pixie dust. Okay. Let's just use this thing here. You make red string. Thank you. And neutrifier. Gotta make it. Cool. Uh, break you down. You and you. It's kind of annoying that that broke. Go away. And neutrifier. Back to where we were. Anyway, so these guys here, I have the four facing up. That should be pretty much all I need for that. And you go there. Next up, I don't want this guy here because I need to put the row of routing nodes. So you, 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 and you. And that is north. So north, you get that for a stack of bone meal. North, you. And stack bone meal. 64. Um, I'm actually... I don't think I actually have enough bone meal for us. <laughs> I might... Because uh, I don't actually have this automated yet to crush this down. I have tons of bones. In fact, I think I'm just avoiding them at this point. But uh, yeah. Not yet automated. And second to last one. 64. Can I open you? I can't open that. Huh. I was hoping that would show me the inventory. And north. Precise filter. You get 64. Okay. Let's see. Where did that... Did I lose my... Can I put you in here? You. Did I put you back in here? I don't think so. I'm not sure where my binder went. Let me get that. I'll be right back. Aha. I must have accidentally thrown it in and it got picked up. Or maybe I dropped it and it got picked up. Either way, got sent back to base. So let's go ahead and... You know what? I am actually going to just link one of these. Uh, just the middle one to this guy up here. Why is that still growing anything? Go away. So... Let's go ahead and link the middle one, I think. And then link you to you, you to you, you to you, you to you. Awesome. Let's see. One of the forests, is that going to show me any inventory? No. It does show those linking, though. That's kind of cool. Oh! It doesn't actually link. It links to the... to you. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, how can I test this? Let's go ahead and... Make this guy do more. So that's going to plant all those. Yeah, so that's all planting. Cool. And now this guy over here. Let's bump him up as well. 
So that should be working pretty quickly. Let's fly up here so I can actually watch. That's not really doing anything. Why are you not bone mealing? You're bone mealing it from close. Hmm. This should have worked. Oh. Hmm. That's not actually how these work. These work by bone mealing them. You bone meal this. Got it. Okay. Uh, okay. We, we can deal with that. Um, instead, we're going to see if a dispenser, which I think I have one sitting here still. Yes. Let's see if a dispenser placed here filled with bone meal. Not going to click yet. Um, let's just kind of play around a little bit here. You go in there. Do like that. That works. Or at least that's clicking. Let's see if you are growing. You wouldn't be because you don't have bone meal. Right. Things, yes. You know, I really thought this would be a fairly short project. But apparently not. Okay, you. Take a bunch of bone meal. That should be working now. Yes. Yeah, that's working, and that is really quick. Awesome. Okay, so that works. I need to get a lot more dispensers, and I need to move all of these back by one. So, is that going to cause a problem? Two, three, four. Dispenser's going to go there. That's good. These guys here will get the uh, filters and stuff like that instead. That works. However, how am I going to use this? Because if I do it here, it's not going to get the signal that it needs. The signal strength that it needs, rather. I don't really want to move you over, because that's going to start interfering with that. I could shift it over here instead. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Actually, you know what? I think this will work here. Of course, I ran out of redstone. I uh, shifted that to that side, put the torch over in here. So that's going to still get the three that it needs in order to loop. Then one, two, three, here. So it's basically the same as if it is over there. That will feed into these repeaters here. So I need two more redstone and I need four more dispensers. Alrighty, we are almost done with our pointlessly overkill project here. Um, I got all the materials I hope. Let's go ahead and no, let's do this way. Dispenser. Cool. Dispenser needs bows. Bows I have parts for. Cool. And then dispenser, dispenser. Really? They don't stack? Okay, cool. Shift, click, U. Shift, click, U. Cool, four. Awesome. These are not going to stack, are they? That's fine. Um, you go here. That's facing the wrong direction. Okay, let's place you there. gonna work? Yes. Okay. Dispensers are in place. Now we get to move these guys, which like I said are probably not gonna stack. Oh, they actually are. Weird. And next up, let's place these on top. You, 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 and you. And these need to go down, which is already selected. Cool. Stack of bone meal. You. Stack of bone meal. You. Stack of bone meal. And the last two. And then this project is completely done. I'm not going to bother testing it. Um, the testing is going to be when I start building, and if I start running out of wood, then I'll come back here and figure out if it's broken or not. Because as it is, I have a ton of wood in there right now. Uh, yeah, they got me like 200 wood in the short amount of time that it was running. Um, why are you still growing? Go away. Cool. Um, now for the part I've been dreading. You. 
But before we can do that, we get to automate bone meal. Craft crate goes there. Hopper goes into the side. Shouldn't matter any of the redstone here because he shouldn't be getting hit with redstone. Shouldn't. Right? Right. Yeah. He doesn't get any redstone. Um, output routing node goes on top with a filter going down. Filter. With bones, we're going to keep a uh, stack, whatever. Um, stack of bones are in here, or will be once it's linked. You will come out the bottom, and I need a block. Do I have a block? I've got a block I can use. Block, block, cool. And you get a comparator on top of you. It's getting pretty easy to do this little automation setup now. It's, um, it's really handy. <laughs> the crystal cube goes right here with a spark on top of you. Cool. And you get a bone block. I'm using bone blocks instead just because I can, this is about two stacks of bone blocks. Um, so it just works pretty nicely. Um, next up, bookcase goes here. And do I have any of the redstone books on me? I do. Awesome. That. Come back. <laughs> and let's see. So, what is this? One stack? Two stack? Four stack? Let's do two stack and let's see if it kicks on. So, you are emitting redstone because I can see the lights. So, if I bump you here, yeah. Four stack. You are not doing anything, are you not? Right. Did I do that right? Don't go there. Okay, so that turns off. Um, must be one stack is there, two stack, so this is four stack. And four stack is what I actually want anyway. Um, next up, just need to link you. And I think that's, is that it? Oh, you need the pattern. Only doing one by one. So you to you, should now, sweet. Bone meal. Awesome. Let's clean up a little bit here. Break you because I don't need that anymore. And break you because I don't need you anymore. Uh, at some point, I will make more of this stone to clean up more. But we have bone meal. We have lots of bone meal. So he's going to just keep making that. Uh, this Slugnolia. Yeah. Um, I think we are now ready, once I clean up my inventory, to start building. Alrighty. I actually have uh, a new mod that I installed uh, pretty much for this episode, actually. Um, it's one I've been wanting to use for a while, but it is the replay mod. Um, basically what it is, it lets me record things kind of in third person. Um, so what I'm going to do is a quick little clip as I'm kind of talking here. Uh, make sure this actually is working properly. I'll go through and check to see if it works. And then I will start doing the actual building. So let's see if it worked. So this confusing mess is skeleton of the tree. Uh, basically, the idea is that the central areas here are kind of the oh, stop turning off uh, the main spine of it, and then these platforms every so often are kind of about how wide I want the branch to be. Um, it's kind of a mess right now, and I really wish I thought this through. I would have done this in a different block, probably like stone or something, so it's a bit clearer to understand. But oh well. Alrighty. It's been a while. Um, I think we're finally done with the actual tree itself. Um, it's going through with the one of the forest here. You can rotate these, but you can also rotate it so that all sides are like the bark there. Let's keep our flight going. Um, basically, I'm going to have to do that for most of the tree here, uh, especially like that. I don't don't really want the uh, lighter wood to be showing through. I want it to actually look like bark, like a giant tree. Um, we have the branches. I think I'm kind of happy with them. I'm going to kind of play with them, make them thicker, thinner, uh, things that look a little ill-proportioned, like this section right here. I'm not quite happy, but I'm not quite sure I want it to look. Because I like the big branch going that way, and then a small little branch going off. So I need to figure out how if I want to make that thinner or thicker or what. Um, and then obviously turn all this into the bark. And leaves. Leaves are going to be a pain. Um, I basically have infinite leaves. I can make a uh, conjuration catalyst thing down there and have it just you know keep a thousand or so leaves around 
um, then kind of like this where it's just keeping in my inventory and I'll just kind of fill in everything. Um, that's going to take quite a while. Probably do that mostly off camera here. Um, I also have no idea how long this is. Um, it is currently Friday. <laughs> it's uh, a week overdue. But I think we're going to have to call this as an episode. Um, we got a lot done. Uh, we got the automation done there, which has been a huge help. It actually pretty much keeps it straight at... Uh, I've not seen this dip below 1,000. Uh, I came down here occasionally when I was building. Um, so this is definitely able to keep up with me, uh, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, definitely served its purpose. <laughs> a lot. Um, but I think we're going to call this as an episode. Uh, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know about that as well. Uh, if you see anything that could be tweaked on here, like I said, it's going to be darker wood throughout all that. Um, I might add in some texture variation as well, maybe a bit of uh, living wood. I can kind of disperse that through here so it's a bit darker as well. And then obviously leaves. Um, but, like I said, uh, it's going to be the end of this episode. It's going to be a week late. Sorry about that, but it obviously took quite a while to build. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.